Hi, it's Tyke from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is No One Know Where Gobo Goes from 1984. So let's get started. My name is Wolby Fraggle. I'm the one on the left. Standing next to me is Gobo Fraggle. He's the greatest explorer in Fraggle Rock. He also happened to be my best friend. Gobo is always going off to explore some far off cave. He takes after his uncle traveled in might, who is actually the very greatest explorer in Fraggle Rock. But Travel and Matt is now in outer space exploring there. <coughs> That makes Gobo the greatest explorer in Fraggle Rock. See what I mean? Usually, I know where Gobo is going since we're best friends, but sometimes he just disappears. There's, wait, then nobody knows where he is or if he's coming back for lunch. One day, Red and Moki and I was walking toward Boober Cave around lunchtime. By the way, said Moki, do you know where Gobo is? He was supposed to meet us here. At that moment, Boober came running up. Where Gobo? He asked, sounding upset. I made enough loaf for all five of us. And you know how I hate leftover loaves. I don't know. I told Boober biting his what I told Boober biting into his radishes. I was very hungry. Gobo didn't tell me. Sometime wait, something terrible must have happened, said Boober nervously. That's just like uh Boober. He is the most worried fraggle in Fraggle Rock. In fact, do you know what sound like Boober the most? A Fraggle horn playing flat. That's when Red chimed in. Where's Gobo? He asked, he promised to watch me do my newest dive this afternoon. The triple toe loop with a twist. I have no idea, I told her. Well, I have an idea, Red went on. Gobo is always disappearing. I vote we follow him the next time and find out where he goes. He, We should all go together, M Moki said. Do I have to, Boober asked. It could be dangerous. You have to, Red insists. And you have to come too, Wilby. I don't know, I said. It sounds sort of sneaky. Nonsense, Red answered. It's just normal curiosity. Besides, Gobo might get into trouble wandering around on his own. Maybe he'll need our help. I wasn't so sure about that, but I had to admit I was curious too. So next time he starts to slip away, we follow him. We follow Gobo through caves and tunnels, past Echo Cavern, and beyond scratchy. The rocks were very dark and quiet. We had to be careful not to make too much noise so that Gobert wouldn't hear us. But before long, we realized that we wasn't following Gobo anymore. We had lost them. We had also lost our way. Oh no, Boober called. We'll never get out of here alive. Calm down, Boober, said Moki. Someone will find us, I hope. Wait a minute, Red added excitedly. I think I hear something. But what had Red heard? It might have been a Wilbur beast, or even the disgusting gag tooth groan. 
the four of us huddled together. We were scared. Then we heard again. It is something wrong? A voice asked. It was Gobert's voice. Go boat. I should. Well, I shouted happily. Where have you been? I can't say. Go boat told us. It's a secret, but I can show you the way back home. We was wrong to follow you, Red admitted. When we. Wait, when we was back safe in the Great Hall. But Gobert, we're ready curious. Where do you go when no one knows where you go? I bet you read it from Quiet Cave, where a waterfall flows into the crystal clear pool, Wokey guessed it. Maybe you go to a cavern where the speckled mushroom grows, Boober said. After all, a speckled mushroom makes the best mushroom pie. No, Gobert said. My special place isn't one of those, he began to sing softly. I go there when I want to think what makes a radisher grow, or when I want to count how many things there to know, or when the war too fast for me and I want some place slow. But th this exact location will have to stay unknown. Like everyone, I need a place where I can be alone. And if I told you my place, right, if I told you where my place was, it wouldn't be my own. I guess you're right, I said, thinking hard. But Gobo, you're not mad at us for following you, are you? Of course not, said Gobo. But we we'll still don't know where you go, Red grumbled. Listen, I have an idea, Gobo said. Why don't all of you find a special place? And that's exactly what everyone decided to do. So, so those days, we don't mind where Gobert goes off to his special place to be alone. We all have our own special place too. How about you? So that was no one know where Gobo goes from 1984. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a good day. We have another video coming out real soon.